hey what's going on guys all right so in the last we worked on the design for our our uh, what you call it our registration form and so in this video we're gonna do the sign up the sign up page so this is not gonna be um, it's not gonna be a long video because we're only gonna need two fields but everything else as the structure will stay the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy everything we did um, in this in this uh, um, sign up uh, activity and then paste it in the in the uh, uh, sign in activity uh, I don't know why I'm calling it sign in and sign up I should have said register and login but in any case I'm gonna copy everything we did in here and then I'm just gonna say copy gonna close that and then I'm gonna go to the sign in um, page all right so I'm just gonna delete everything that's in here and then just paste on top of it okay uh, let's just give it a second to stop thinking there and then yeah all right so there's the layout uh, let me just zoom in just a little bit right so now we need to change the text from sign up to sign in so we're gonna come over here and just say sign in and then we're gonna in the linear layout we're just gonna remove the first the, the, the first linear layout the one that's um, wrapping around the first name and last name so we're gonna delete that okay and then we're gonna delete the second linear layout that's wrapping the confirm password actually before let me copy this password field here copy that and then highlight the linear layout the one that's wrapping the password and confirm field and then right underneath the M email text field, I'm gonna paste what I just copied from the, uh, the password field. And then I'm gonna change this. So this is gonna match uh, the parent of the um, of the layout. Okay. So now let's just give the um, I'm remove this, and then I'm gonna give it a margin top of let's just say seven dp. All right, that's evenly spaced out. Okay, let's just see again. Yeah, I think that's fine. So now let's change this task, I mean, this text. So um, we're gonna say, go to sign up. And then that's pretty much it. So now let's give it, um, let's change the method. This is gonna be sign up. And then from the sign up activity, I'm gonna copy here what we did here. I don't need we don't need to rewrite everything from scratch so let's go to sign in right beneath there we're gonna say that change it from sign in to sign up and then this is gonna be from sign in to sign up I mean it's from sign in to the sign up activity Okay, so let's go back to the sign-in page. That error should be gone now. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the um, for the sign-in page. Um, um, it's practically gonna be the same thing as um, 
uh, that's the sign up page the only thing was that we only needed two fields so um, let me just make sure we've got the correct IDs it's email and then password that's fine the text is also fine and then the button obviously all the pages are gonna have the same uh, button so yeah guys like I said this was going to be a short one because uh, we only needed about two fields and then since the design is pretty much the same as the sign up one it wasn't going to take long all we had to do was just copy some of the elements and then paste them as they were so um yeah i guess that's pretty much it for this video so um if you've liked what you've seen so far guys uh please don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, again i hope i wasn't too fast there and uh, you were able to follow along but um, in the next video we should be uh, working on registering users within the within um within um our spring boot backend and so hopefully um yeah hopefully that video also won't take too long but um yeah that's it that's it for this particular video um um and again thanks for watching i'll be seeing you within the next video cheers for now